Hey, gang, real quick before we get the old show started, let's talk about these live days we got coming up. It's the Keep It Moving 2021 tour, and we're coming to a town near you. We're going to be in Atlantic City, New Jersey, June 18th. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to be in Chicago for our fourth and final show on June 22nd. Then we're heading over to Indianapolis, Indiana at the Helium over there on June 23rd. Get some tickets. And then we're coming back Thursday night. Back to the Windy City for two sold-out shows. So if you heard a date on there that wasn't sold out, buy some tickets and come see us. It's going to be a great time. Yeah, guys, the live show's awesome. It's stand-up, and then we play AYG with the audience. We answer your questions. It's a good fucking time. Get involved. See you there. Oh, baby. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. A little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out they grow up to be classy, or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a glorious day. We're down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. I got to say, our guest got me a little nervous. I'm sliding <laughs> off the stool over Good looking here. guy. The kid's a looker, but we're not there yet. I got... Bozo sitting next to me, my main Just man. as good looking. <laughs> Some say better. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Yeah, only my mom. <laughs> hey, what's up, gang? Thanks for t- <laughs> This is a silly one already. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And as you know, those numbers are... True to roof? True to roof. Those numbers are cooking, baby. And then... The bread and butter, the money maker, patreon.com slash are you garbage. Love that money. Closing in on 1,500 patrons. Come on. We fucking appreciate it. Um, you can sign up. You get bonus episodes of AYG. You get episodes of Hard Feelings, which is me and uh, Foley behind the curtains a little bit, shitting on each other. Did a little comic bashing this week. Oh, yeah. Well, that Talking one that little, one can't get released. Talking a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then every month we do a live stream uh, with our top tier patrons where we ask you questions, you ask us questions. It's a good fucking time. Yes, it is. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man. He makes us all look good. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, buddy. buddy. Fucking, you guys look like such shit next to this guy. (laughs) Holy fuck. You have never looked pastier. I know. I don't know if that bothers you or not, but I, you look at me like I'm a pile of trash. Me? No. Uh, Oh, I do too. I I certainly do not. Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from Oops the Podcast. He's a previous guest. It's a it's a it's a little company in the house here. Um, you got to go check out his episode. It's absolutely amazing. You got to check out Oops the Podcast, and you got to check him out on Patreon. He's got his own Patreon. He's producing his own Patreon. He's got a smash hit on there called Alternate Side Alternate Side Parking Thursday. My favorite thing on Instagram. It's fantastic. It's him just fucking dealing with the parking nightmare that is New York City. Give it up for the one, the only. Francis Allison. Hey, thank you so much for having me back, fellas. Buddy, thanks for coming. I mean, you can't not comment on it. Like, what are you doing to your skin? Are you are you doing you got anything? Good skin. Or is you this know, just genetics? Here's the thing. Listen, uh, you're a great comic, funny guy, absolutely fantastic. I don't mean to just point out your physical features. No. But they are alarming. I feel like you got better since the last time we had you on the podcast. <laughs> well, he's definitely gotten worse. So it could be <laughs> could be that juxtaposition. My eyes have gotten fatter. <laughs> Uh, I, I, uh, I've, I've been a redhead my whole life, so I've had to protect my skin. But it's strawberry and that's, blonde. That's really the answer. Dude, people ask, people do ask me, like, what's your skincare gotta... routine? It's sunscreen. <laughs> and I'm yeah. not even being funny about that. that like, I start my day with a, with a moisturizer that has 20 SPF in it. Really? And uh, I think I think sun is the number one thing that makes people look old. It, it makes you look like a catcher's mitt real That's quick. It. Yeah. You look like us. Yeah. I could have been him. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I started. Hold on. No, you couldn't. <laughs> that was the joke. Um, I started because once we started in HD, 
I, we've just been, I've been getting fucking destroyed. So I've been doing a, a, a face care routine myself, trying to bring back a little bit of the life or stop it. You know what, what is, I mean? what's in your routine? I'm curious. I got, well, we went out, I went to this fancy spa and we spent a couple of hundred bucks on some products. Like okay. While it was, I got a face while I was there yep. and then I bought the products they used. Okay. Um, yeah. All organic and shit. So it's like a cleanser. Is that a mall? What? <laughs> was that a mall? It's <laughs> just a face mask. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's pretty good. <laughs> Uh, I love it. You know, uh, I, I think having some kind of a routine is, I hate, I hate that word. Like it a, what's it your got, skincare routine? So corny. Let me yeah. ask you this. So we're, th- they're, they're busting my chops that I'm a little heavy that I got to lose some weight. I just, out of curiosity, you're a classy guy. I would like to know what is your daily routine? Like as far as like working out, getting up, what do you eat for breakfast? What do you do with the loofah? What are you doing? I like to eat um, so you over, get up in overnight the oats in the morning. It's classy. I think he told it's us It's not this. classy. No, that's overnight nice. You're premeditated. That's overnight oats is... Well, it's you could you could also just do oatmeal, instant oatmeal. Sure. What do you put in it? Is it soy milk or is it regular milk? Oat milk, bro. Really? Yeah. Watch out for that oatly. I think they just IPO it actually. And how much? Really? How much are we? Talking? You're the first guest to and, ever and, address an IPO. <laughs> 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 I don't even know what that means, but it sounds cool. It's where they they went public, and so you can buy their really? stock. Really? Yeah. yeah. But dude, I'm telling you, if you like oat milk, uh, there's only one brand. And then if you if they don't have it at the supermarket and you have to buy any of those other brands, <laughs> garbage. Yeah. yeah. Absolute Oatly's garbage. I know Oatly. Oatly's the one. Oatly is the one. And I don't want to like give free ads or anything like that. But I'm telling you, if you've ever Our been, listeners are not buying Oatly. <laughs> if you've ever been... It, you, know, you know how you, you know it's garbage? Because the other brands aren't even allowed to call it oat milk. They call it oat beverage. If you're drinking oat beverage, step your fucking game you're, up. You're garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so wait, hold on. I, I want to hear this. So you get up in the morning. What's the first thing you do? Uh, I do the crossword, the New York Times crossword puzzle on my phone. What? Yeah. On a sleep that. day? Got to yeah, stay yeah. sharp, dude. What time do you get up in the morning? Uh, like 7, 7.30. No matter what time you go to bed, you get up at 7 o'clock? Yeah, I can't really sleep. I'm not a very good sleeper any anymore. And you do the New York Times in bed? Yeah, my girlfriend brings me a coffee. It's it's part of our uh, exchange of goods for services. All right. I kind of like this. I like where <laughs> this is going. <laughs> well, she's got her chores. I got my chores. Sure. Her bringing me a coffee is what part you, of What, what are you chores. wearing that time of day? Just out of curiosity, <laughs> just for the listeners. So you're in bed. You do the New York Times crossword puzzle. How long does that take you? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, just about. Take me two weeks. Then what you, then <laughs> you what can't you even do? afford the paper. Once you start doing it, you get the, the mo- like early days of the week. They're much easier. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is easier. Thursday, Friday, it's really hard. Yeah, it's I, hard, I yeah. can't finish it off. Really? On Thursday and Friday. Yeah. So okay, so you do that then what? Start on a Monday. Uh, get up, take a shower. Uh, you know, then I put my my SPF on. Uh huh. My moisturizer <laughs> with the built-in SPF, <laughs> and then I uh, get to get to emails and and writing and all that stuff. And then around uh, 5 p.m., I usually do my exercising. That's what you do. Then you work out. Yeah. Then you shower again. Yep. And then off to spots or whatever. That's it. Yeah. And what, what are you having for lunch? So wh- when do you have the oat milk or the, the oats? That's uh, usually around like 8.30, 9. Okay. 8:30, and it's 9. just a small portion, I would assume. I probably I don't even know what you'd call it. I eat a lot, dude. I eat a do? lot. Yeah. Huh. People are always um, kind of aghast. Well, you're a big I guy. Eat. You burn a lot of calories. Yeah, too. I mean, I big eat healthy dude. food, but I eat a lot of it. Sort of the quantities that. What's you the last thing you had today? Let's let's start there. Uh, I I didn't have much time today, so I had just a bunch of pre-made chicken salad that I bought at like Whole Foods. Okay. And then I had half an avocado. That's no a, bread. It's a tight no. ship. Do you eat a lot of bread? It probably doesn't Not touch really. the stuff. What are you really? talking about? What about fast food? No. Even Wendy's? <laughs> She's a nice girl. <laughs> I like I like Wendy's, but the problem is uh when I eat it, I get I feel like awful. It just my body fucking rejects it. Yeah. And then I That's know that I fight through it. I yeah. fight through you it and fight, feel like you, shit. You, <laughs> you take it personally. <laughs> Not this time, Wendy. <laughs> I'm fully starts his day. His girl brings him a honey baked ham and a big bowl. <laughs> I do some Mad Libs. <laughs> I hit the coloring book for what about twenty minutes. Connect the dots. Oh, it's a it's a constellation. <laughs> I can't finish the word find on Fridays. <laughs> his goddamn Marmaduke gets up to trouble. I'll tell you that. What this kid's doing. 
Oh my God! Well, he's asking. We just we're doing a weight loss challenge for him this month. He's a classy guy. I, I know. like to learn from classy people. That's what I'm saying. He came in. We asked if he wanted a water. He's like, No, I brought my own. I knew it was going to be a fucking reusable water bottle. Yeah, You're Look, very. He's very. The reason I like this is because it's bigger than those. Yes. Yeah. And I need more water. That's not enough water for me. I know. I'll do a couple of these. This is a like day. 38 ounces. Or How something. many of those do you drink a day? Like two at least. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta stay hydrated. Yeah. What about a hair product? What do you put in there? I don't have I don't I'm not a big hair product guy and there's a reason. Really? Yeah, it's because I I sweat uh-huh. and then it drips into my eyes and my eyes sting. Yeah, it's, I I've had that problem too. I don't like having the the hair gel sweat yeah. in my eyeballs. What about your shampoo and stuff like that and and, and Just use head and shoulders two for one? Really? You're yeah. doing two first? Well, yeah, it's it, then I don't have to do both the uh, conditioner and the What shampoo. about the trashy. soap? You got to have trashy. something fancy. Oh, you're going right? to let him fucking used... walk over the two fur head, head and shoulders? <laughs> That's, That's fucking trash. That is trash. This kid can do no wrong in my <laughs> <eye>. shaving with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do use for the soap I use the Dr. Bronner's. Yeah. Which is just, it leaves your skin all tingly. It does. You use the mint. And if you're out camping and you're in a pinch, you can use it for everything. Yeah. Wash your clothes with it. You can brush your teeth with it. Shampoo, what? soap. Yeah, man. They A little goes a long way. It's Dr. very Dr. Bromers is all right. Yeah. I love that tingle on the nuts. Ain't tingle. too shabby either. Yeah, it's the like tingle. they just smoked a Newport. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Soon to be illegal, by the way. Well, yeah. thank you. I wanted to know. That's my routine. Did you have braces? Yeah, I did. Flawless teeth. For Look 11 months. I hated them. Eleven months. It was a short time. Jesus. I told him I didn't want them anymore. I had them for like four years. Yeah, my sister was six. On your legs. <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> You're lobbing these up. <laughs> oh man, good oh. stuff. We have preached. Also, I want to say the fucking alternate side parking hysterical oh. is so funny. Thank it's you. So good. It's developed. We were talking about it the other night before we even hit you up to do the pod. We were talking about how funny it was, and. You've created this world on your block. It's interesting. There's the char- there's recurring characters. Yeah. The fa- you, the, you call it the Fast and the Furious car or whatever. Yeah, like, the Mad Max Fury Mad Road Max car. Fury. He's never there. <laughs> he gets a ticket every week. Nothing. Doesn't seem to care. I mean, it's not a bad way to go because the tickets are $65. I t- sometimes I roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and he's just willing to collect one every week. That's roughly whatever, $270. Comes about a parking a spot is. It's less than a parking garage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he just doesn't deal with it. He pays his tickets or doesn't. Who knows? And uh, that's when you get in trouble. They yeah. come and get you. That's he could get booted. I've been yeah. booted. I've Have been, you been booted? He's been booted. I've been so booted. how yeah. long does it take for you to get booted? How many tickets do you need to get? Here's the deal. I can I know it 100. percent Yeah. So here's so here's the story. You have you get a ticket. You have one month to pay that ticket. After that one month, it monetarily increases a little bit. Hmm. If you get to the point where it's over three hundred and fifty dollars and it's been a month, that's when they can boot you. Really, three hundred fifty dollars in fines. Yes, fines. Yeah. Then they come and boot you. All right, so you got the three fifty. You're sitting there. Then they come and boot you. He's they tack on four hundred. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to keep a ledger. Come on, keep my math yeah. right. Yeah. That you got, you got four, you got four hundred. Now you're looking at like seven hundred and eighty nine dollars to it, remove the boot. It's, to a, remove it's the like boot. eight. I think I paid eight eighty to get my. Oh, boot. Here's the oh, thing, and you gotta have you gotta have all the your your documents in order too. Oh my! Which I don't God. know if you know that about us. Our documents tend to not be. Our affairs aren't always in order. Yeah. Here, here's the thing too. Is so let's say it's a Thursday morning. You go downstairs. Fuck! I got a boot. You have between an hour and 24 hours to get your shit straight because you got the fucking tow truck it's coming around. You're, tow notice. you're now on the oh, list. Wow. So whenever fucking Bozo Joe in the tow truck comes around and you don't have your shit, then they're taking it. Mm. Now you got fucking 788. Now we're probably tacking on fucking two, three hundred dollars for fucking storage fees when they tow you. Yeah, I don't. I don't mean Screwed. to get. I don't mean to get blue on this wonderful show, but one of my favorite pornos is <laughs> bad tow truck driver. Really? Yeah. Is that was that like a genre or a specific? It's film? A, a website. It's this guy. <laughs> this who, kid's got serial Toby, killer. Pull it up. He like <laughs> goes to tow these girls' cars, and they're like, "Is there anything I can do?" <laughs> and he's and like, then wow. they get in the tow truck. <laughs> And That's there's something very kind of I don't know mechanical about it that I enjoy. It's right yeah. in my wheelhouse. I'll pay eight eighty I mean, for these that. These girls do not want to get towed. They do they gotta not get to want to get towed. I haven't seen that, but I'm big into snowplow porn. <laughs> okay, all right. Bit well, of a Liam of, Neeson vibe. I like that. A couple yeah. of snow bunnies. <laughs> 
Well, uh, I couldn't get away with that with this tow truck driver. He was playing hardball. I, ha- so I that- had to call my mom and get the credit card number quick. Yeah. I remember that was one of the funniest things ever. He called her, and she's like, well, what are you going to do? And he goes, I'm doing it. I'm calling you. Get the credit, get the credit card. He's like, I'm not calling you to brainstorm. Yeah, quit playing card. stupid, honey. Go get the visa. Uh, <laughs> um, but so then when you tow it, when they boot it, um, I found out I got booted because I went to work. I left it. I had it. And then my buddy who lives in the neighborhood took a picture of it and sent me my car booted, which is a tough. Oh, that is a tough t- picture to get. Um, but you can take it off yourself. There's a combo number on it where they go, oh, the code is 11247. Sure. And then you take it off and you have up to 48 hours to return it or they charge you for the boot. For the boot. Or yes. they'll come take it off. But they'll be like, it'll take up to two hours. Yeah. So I if see. you have somewhere to go, you can take it off right away and leave. But then you have to go return the boot. And the only place I could return it was in the Bronx. And it was at like a regular gas station. Oh, my God. Who just accepts it. And I was like so embarrassed. I'm like, I got to walk in here and stand in line with people b- paying for gas with a boot <laughs> to be like, ah, I'm to holding it for a friend or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> there's no way to not look like a fucking jerk. It's off. my cousin's. He's from out of town. And then I remembered I was in the Bronx and like the guy in front of me was like already drinking a Bud Ice like that he was pay- paying for. Be- he started drinking before he paid for it. I'm like, oh, I'll be all right. Yeah. They walked in. I'm like, I'm returning this. They're like, yeah, whatever, man. Here, go. I'm like, I love Ooh. that. Yeah. You've well, never, you've, have you, do you get tickets or no? I've gotten tickets, but I've never been booted because yeah. I, I pay them pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm all, I'm in the game, so I can't risk getting booted. Yeah, I make sure I pay them within a month too. Yeah. I'm usually carrying about one or two. Wow, usually. Yeah, interesting. Because what well, they switch the alternate side parking a little bit to not two days a week, now one day a week. That's that's why part of the reason why the spots are so coveted now. Yes. Because what what typically happens is normal in normal times there are, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, let's say, or yeah. Wednesdays and Fridays. 100%. The street sweeper comes from 9 to 10:30. People uh, you know, instead of playing what I call the alternate side parking the game, waiting game, yeah. which is where you sit in your car in that window. Uh, because it's two days a week, they people can't afford that, so they just they, they just relocate. switch to a different street yeah. or whatever. Yeah, 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 so there's kind of like a musical chairs of parking spots. Uh, but now, given that it's one day a week, most people can find a way to you know get out of work for just for an hour and a half yeah. or yeah. do their work in their car for that time, and they go do it. And it was that's what led to this whole series developing. Well, I say this as I say this as a, a driver in New York, a dirt bag. All right, I'm a dirt bag. I'm lazy. I don't want to fucking move the car. It's uh, my street is so fucking dirty Mm. because they're doing it only one day a week. now. Yeah. Yeah. There's nails everywhere. Well, it's that. And it's also there. The city does not do. They suspend alternate side parking if there is the faintest hint of a religious holiday. Oh, yeah. Any denomination, any crazy sect of anything that celebrates that day, they honor it and they say no no alternate side parking. Which I'm surprised de Blasio did that because that that shit's a fucking moneymaker for the city. It is. It is. And it's also surprising that they uh, went to one day a week in COVID because you're right. Well, it was nothing in COVID for a while. Yeah. It was zero. But if they if they have it two days a week, they issue more tickets. Sure. They make more money. You know, they pay their drivers and the Department of Sanitation and all of that. Sure. I've become friends with those guys. <laughs> I know. I saw which is the coolest thing. Pizza yeah. Sweet. Pizza Sweet. <laughs> yeah, he's my your friends with the Street Sweeper. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's yeah. the funniest fucking thing in the he world. Did, uh, he did my first like live happy hour on the Patreon. We just had he's beers. got Pizza Sweep on the Patreon. <laughs> talked for an hour. It was awesome. <laughs> So fucking funny. I have a parking question. So in, in Chicago, when it snows, you shovel out your spot, dibs. dibs. You, throw, you throw a thing. Is that a thing in New York? No. no. People have talked about that, although in Chicago, they honor. Philly is the same thing. You see, you see like someone's chair, chair or, or trash trampoline or, or whatever it is. <laughs> trampoline. If you move the chair, people will slash your tires. Yeah. And everyone around them will be like, yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, it's yeah. true. I dig that. I think there is, uh, you know, whenever you find these unwritten codes of, uh, <clears throat> you know, parking decency, whatever it is in different cities, I find that very authentic. And and then you, but you, and like anywhere, I'm sure you get violators, right? You yeah. get people who don't play by the game. That's, that is what happens in New York, which leads to fights. Yes. Well, in New York, we have the one which I strongly, I'm, I'm totally okay with this. If you drive by a parking spot and somebody's standing in the spot saying he's circling the block, he's going to be here in a minute. You let them have the spot. You do? You don't? 
I don't. I, I haven't encountered it, but um, you know, I I, I don't. I don't know how like I feel it. about. I don't that. like it. I say, it's but it's okay. also like, what are you going to do? You're not going to run the person over. Yeah, you don't have a choice. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I don't. I I would never do that. I would never be like, no, someone's coming. Yeah. It's crazy. That's insane. I feel like that's an unwritten rule in New York City. Like the chair thing. Mm. But the snow, I remember the snow this year. I, I got I dodged a bullet because when that last big snowstorm hit, I was down at my parents, so fucking plowed out, fucking drove up, and there were just these mountains yeah. on oh, yeah. the side of the road where you could tell some fucking guy dug his car out for like fucking three hours and then mm. had to move it. I'm just snuck right in. Nice. Nice. Clean living. Yeah, you got to go good. over a little snow embankment. Yeah, you do. That's why you got the four-wheel drive. You know what <laughs> I mean? <laughs> nice. Classy. <laughs> four-wheel drive's not too shabby. Yeah. What kind of whip do you drive? Can I ask you that? Yeah. So we, we took over my girlfriend's parents' lease. Okay. And, I like it. Uh, they kind of give us a good rate. It's a nice car. It's a BMW. Yeah. yeah. It Love is. it. Um, SUV? No, just a, the 5 Series. Nice. Yeah, but it's great. Yeah. Kids driving on a BMW. Yeah. Classy. Mm-hmm. It's classy. I told you. Shop told at Whole Foods you. exclusively, uh, or or Trader Joe's. Ooh. Yeah, whatever, whatever. When he has closer. to slum it. <laughs> Trader Joe's is cheap as hell. I know. Trader Joe's is cheaper than any of those Diagostinos oh, or yeah, yeah, any yeah, of those yeah, New sure. York grocery stores. There's a new one that just opened in my neighborhood. It's called Little, right? Or am I saying it wrong? It's that German Lidl. company. Little. Yeah, I don't trust it. Mm. L- it looks Lidl. weird. Everything looks the same. Let me tell you something. This place, they tiptoe around copyright infringement like it's nobody's business mm. because it looks exactly the same. They had Frosted Flakes, and it was some snowman. <laughs> I swear to God, it was a box of Frosted Flakes, and instead of Tony the Tiger, it was yeah. a snowman. Yeah. Trader Joe's does that, too, you know? Sneaky. Instead of Honey Nut Cheerios, it'll be like Honey Nut uh, you know, Trader Joe, you know, <laughs> and you're like, give me a fucking break, yeah. you know. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do the generic stuff. No, it's no, tough. I can't do it. I'd oh. I need the games on the back. Yeah, I had yeah. Fristed you Flakes know. all growing up, and they fucking sucked. Th- that's probably what Foley does in bed in the morning, <laughs> well, play playing the word game. search on the back of a cereal box. <laughs> I found the second toucan. <laughs> How, what's the difference between these two pictures? <laughs> Tell you, Captain Crunch really gets himself in a pickle. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't, you're stuck in the maze. You can't get out. Gang, let's face it. We all shop online these days. No one's going to the store like a <laughs> bozo. Like a doofus. And don't you hate that when you get to the promo code section, when you're about to check out and you're staring at it and you got nothing, zip, nada, and you're paying full price like a bozo. <laughs> well, our friends at Honey are going to change all that. Honey supports over 3,000 stores online. They range from They range from sites that have... Gaming products to popular fashion brands. They got it all. Even food delivery. And what they do is instead of manually searching for promo codes, Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. uh, Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites. And when you go to check out, the Honey button drops down. And all you have to do is click apply coupon. Love that Honey button. You're not sitting there clipping, you know, the Sunday newspapers looking for coupons. It does it for you, Uh -uh. baby. You wait a few seconds. Honey searches all over the Internet, finds out what it can do, and lowers the price for you. When we were putting Tootie's studio together, I mean, me and T-Bone were making 1,000 purchases a day all on Honey. Wetting our beaks on the lights, the cameras, the, the action, baby, whatever you need. We got it. So give it a shot. Um, so if you don't already have Honey, uh, you're just straight up missing out on savings. That's what you're doing. It's literally free and installs on your on your browser in a few seconds. And by getting it, you're doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Yes. If you like us, this is an easy way to support us. I we never, I never, I would never recommend something I don't use. Our, my wife uses it for shopping for clothes. It's easy peasy. You get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash garbage. One more time, baby. That's joinhoney.com slash garbage. Did you just give them the kippy guarantee? <laughs> my name's on it. I guarantee. <laughs> Check out Honey. Gang, let's take a quick second to talk about one of our favorite sponsors. And Who's one that? Of our biggest supporters here on the show. Of course, I'm talking about the good people at Fume. Oh, yeah. All right. Fume is a natural inhaler that makes it easy to get the benefits of super plants on the go. Here's how it works. It's simple. 
Fume is a Canadian-made wood inhaler with no electronics. It has cores filled only with the benefits of super plants. No chemicals at it. They're absolutely fantastic. It's a natural, portable tool for allergy relief, relaxation, and a great nicotine replacement tool that fits right in your pocket. I'm telling you guys, they sent us a whole bunch of the stuff. Mm -hmm. and the three of us have tried it out, been using it. It helps. If you're on the Bernies, it's a good substitute for smoking Bernies. If you're smoking cigs, smoking cigs forever ain't a, ain't ain't a. There's no future in that. You know what I mean? You got to cut them at some point. Nope. Got to kick the habit, and Fume can help. They sent us one uh, for allergy relief that I've been using because my fucking face has been wanting to punch myself in the forehead all day. It's horrible. How are your allergies? No good. Bad this year. It's horrible. Your car's covered in pollen. A couple of hits of fucking Fume. You're feeling A-OK. -okay, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so check out the variety of blends and their benefits at breathefume.com. That's B-R-E-A-T-H-E, Fume, F -U -M com and use promo code garbage for 10% off on your order today. One more time, baby. Write it down. Put it in your phone, in your notes. Open the browser. Breathefume.com. Promo code garbage for 10% off your order today. Gang, we got a little company. We're reading your questions here. Kevin Ryan. Hey, gang. What do you um, got? We got, a, we got some good ones. Uh, let's see. This. Let's. Oh, wait, before we get into that, I had, I had a couple car ones. Can I ask that since we're on the, on the car thing? Mm. Sure. Um... Did you ever, well, I guess this kind of goes with the with the lease, but did you ever sell a car? Did your family ever sell a car to somebody that you know, and then you see that car driving around all the time? No. No. We're a dealership family. I, I, I had that happen. Really? That's yeah. trash. And, and, dude, the guy paid us in cash. Ooh, I like that. And and uh, and and I think Are we they, talking like five grand or are we talking like 15 grand? No, it was like 4,000. Whose 500. car was We it? had bought it. My sister, and it was the, the car my sister and I split. It was like a 1993 Volvo you know that I mean it. It, it almost Wagon? rolled coal. Yeah. Like the, 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 the shit that came out of the exhaust. Oh. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every trip to school was one polar bear's life, <laughs> <laughs> at least. And killing uh, two seals a week. Yeah, and we ended up selling it to uh, this this kid we knew his dad came to buy it his dad uh did landscaping for a living so clearly just got paid in cash, cash mm -hmm. yeah and he showed up with like a, a gangster roll of 20s really which we then put in like a soup jar and then i kind of whittled down over you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now how did weeks. you how did you advertise the car was it out front on the lawn or was it like did you do that or did you drive around with the for sale sign the or best offer yeah, that's a great question i don't exactly know maybe i don't even know how they found out they might have been in like the yellow pages or something okay. like that or that's craigslist the, I, I feel that's the way to do it yeah you but like, that's a tough look listed. seeing your car driving around town yeah. yeah, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, so you would see that car at, like school and shit. Yeah, but the kid had, he was super into like auto repair, and I think he replaced a bunch of the parts and uh, then made like it nicer than what we had had as it and souped it up. Yeah. Uh, what about you ever try to win the car at the mall? You ever do that? Um, I've tried to win. I think I've tried to win the car at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I didn't even know they gave away at the airport. Maybe I mean, might, it might not be. Think you were just robbing cars in long term parking. <laughs> <laughs> I signed up once for some kind of thing at the airport. Uh, that was big as a kid. I'd be like, they're just giving this away if you put your name in? It's crazy. I don't know. I still don't understand how that works. And this is the most... Two things send murderous rages up my spines, especially in New York. The dickheads who put those things in the back of their mufflers that go... D -d 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 you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, and the muffler. And the train horn. The dickhead who puts the fucking like train... Like the air horn. Ugh. Uh, yeah. I want to fucking see. I want to get a, one of those big Pellegrino bottles and throw it right through their fucking window. Nice. Drives me insane. That's a classy way to <laughs> yeah. send a message. <laughs> Heavens to Betsy. Yeah. And yeah. I was sparkling. You're looking at the yeah. still on me. You know, a brick will work too. No, but last question car related would be Do you think it's trashy to lean on somebody's car that isn't yours? <laughs> That's the first part. We just did that the other day. <laughs> Or is it trashy to yell at somebody for leaning on your car? Oh, what man. if you walked up to alternate side parking and somebody was leaning, leaning on, on, your on car? the beamer? Had like a cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> no, no coffee on it. I'll do that. I, I, I hate to say this. I think a lot of it would depend on on who was leaning on the car. Sure. You know, if it's some some twerp 
some guy who's like coming back from a run and he's stretching his hamstrings by using the car to balance. You know, he's doing his quads mm-hmm. or whatever. And he's just kind of using it as a, a balance. Yeah, a beam or whatever. You I, give that a pass? I think I'd let that guy go. Okay. Yeah, good for him. What if he's sitting on the hood? <laughs> yeah, if, if there's some guy What if there, it's me leaning up with like a big you're sitting on the cheese. hood, I'm going to be like, listen, this is, you, you can have the car. <laughs> <laughs> you clearly have more confidence it's than I do. never Sarah. coming back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can sit in it anymore. <laughs> that happened one night. We were drunk and we were in somewhere and got like a bunch of like pizza and wings and we were all fine. And we just like put it on some the hood of someone's car oh, in that's Philly. That's fucking disrespectful. I mean, I know we were just so drunk. I like you know I'm not saying it was right. And we were just like treated. It was like Thanksgiving dinner, dude. Like chicken. And then this guy walked up. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm sorry, sir." Just like, uh, dude, I I fucking bitched up real quick. <laughs> Did you think of chicken tenders here? Yeah, for real, real quick. All right, I'm sorry. I just figured I wanted to get the car questions out. Let's go. Well, we have another one. This one's for all right. So this is uh, guys. As you know, when you sign up for the Patreon, we will answer your garbage question on air. It's just mm-hmm. the best way to do it because um, we get we get a shit ton of submissions. Um, so this one's from Sam, and it is car related. Have you ever taken a drink from home in an open glass or a mug in the car? Mm, yes. Like a, with like a prop. Wow, really? Coffee. Yeah. In a mug, no lid. Oh sh- sure. I could see. I, him I, I like to. That's I like to have an ice move. ice coffee. You know. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll bring it in a mason jar with ice. Wow. Yeah. I don't know no how top. I feel about that. Yeah. Does he get spills, or is that what just when you're sitting in alternate side? Uh, I take it with me to go do alternate side, I and um. I I don't like lids in general, and I'll tell you I'll tell you why. There's something to me about um, getting the sip straight from the big sip is nice. Yeah, and 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 you get you get um, I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm more connected to the drink. I'm getting it the way it was supposed to be. I'm the way him. God intended. I don't yeah. know why, but I totally agree with you. I'm, yeah, I'm not a big straw it. guy. Yes. Yeah. I'm over the straw. Not a straw guy. Yeah, like a nice sip. And I think what he's saying is classy, especially the mason jars, reusable. It's not a fucking plastic cup or anything like that. He's bringing it from his home. I know. Do you make the iced coffee in your house? Yeah. Do you make it? You cold brew it. So. Or is it just we, hot coffee we have, over ice? We have like a, a, an espresso thing. And what we'll do is I'll do like two shots of espresso and then oat milk with a bunch of ice in it. And that's my drink. That's my coffee drink every Damn. day. Do you have a reusable straw that you use? No, I don't. I just don't. Ta- I don't. I don't do straws in any way, shape or form. You no need matter a lid what. for a straw. I don't like a lid. Yeah, that's fair play. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have an ice machine in your freezer? Yeah. You do not one that you go like that. No, no. Not on the door. It's a big bin that refills like a chicken coop. (laughs) (laughs) I got to tell you, when you have people over, right, and then you get through all that ice and you're like, shoot, we're out of ice. And then you wait an hour and you go back in and the the machine has laid seven new (laughs) ice cubes. You feel great. You're like, thank you for the bounty, (laughs) dear chicken freezer. We're living off the earth. Have you guys ever have you guys ever collected eggs from a chicken coop? No, oh, my, I, cousin, my cousin, my like cousin. Like baseball got, cards? What? What do you mean collected them? Gone like in the gone morning. Oh, I thought them. you meant like displayed them, like collected them like that. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy <laughs> is out to lunch. <laughs> I thought you meant like you had an egg collection. I got an 83 rooster over here. Come check it out. No, have nerd. you ever fetched eggs? No. Have you ever gone to? No, I went to a self-sustaining farm one time with my brother and his family, and we had eggs that were from that farm, and they were fucking lights out. Yeah, it's, it's they were like eggs. glow. They were glowing orange. I'm troubled that your mind though went to somebody <laughs> whose hobby it was. <laughs> That's what I to, to hold for value. Well, who says Henry's collects chicken eggs? I, I Have you gathered? Verb. Gathered eggs. Gathered's fine. Gathering collects collect. is probably yeah. a synonym for that. Yeah. Mate, what's a synonym? synonym oh, synonym. Same. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, cinnamon. Yeah. Said cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> I like cinnamon on my eggs. Yeah. I usually just do salt and pepper. But yeah. <laughs> I'll give it. A, if you say it's cool, I'll do it. <laughs> hold on. Uh, <laughs> you go and you get the eggs from from the chickens. Yeah. In where the have morning. you done it? I don't know. I I grew up in Maine, and there oh, a neighbor right. had yeah. a, ch- a chicken coop. And I gotta tell you, banging it, going going to get those e- after the chickens have have laid them mm-hmm. at, at night, and you go in there and you see fresh eggs. It's like finding diamonds. Yeah. So you don't need to. They don't need to ferment or anything like that. You don't have to treat them or anything. No. Nothing. No. You can really just straight out. 
Yeah. yeah. And they weren't going to... Go gonna home, eat, crack them in a pan, eat your omelet. And they weren't going to... Those chickens weren't going to use those eggs anyway. They're like just... they're No, they don't eat eggs. <laughs> <laughs> be weird if you walked out your chicken was making an omelet. <laughs> cannibals, you know? <laughs> Got a frittata going. sunny side up. <laughs> no, but how, how, does, how does the egg become a chicken? You have to incubate it. Right? Oh, right. That's true. So it's a good question. And I don't actually know the answer to this. But I, I do think, right, so those chickens... It's possible that they expect to sit on them and grow them into No, because chicks. doesn't the hmm. male sit on them or is that ducks? That's penguins. That I think they might be some one I, of those arctic animals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh guys, this might blow your mind, but there has to be some jizz involved. So Yeah, they're right. That's right. It, it comes it's it, if it if it comes out as an egg that you can eat, it was never going to be. That's a what chicken. I thought. Okay, so there uh, are. It's not, it's not like fish where they squirt the eggs out and they jizz on top of the eggs and then they become chickens. Okay, but so those. But let me ins- ask you this: It's insane that you're my bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, at the end of the month. All right, we we got a chicken guy over here, so. <laughs> I got questions. Man, that was the best <laughs> insult or uh, what? That was we got, perfect. We got a chicken guy over here. Real ladies man, huh? Hey, yeah. You're talking real tough for a guy wearing his own merch. <laughs> hey, got to plug the brand. It was free. <laughs> <laughs> Figured I'd show How up. How dare you talk to Mr. Ellis like that? <laughs> I felt bad the second I did it. He's so nice. <laughs> But I didn't mean chicken guy as an insult either. I meant no, I know, I somebody just, who knows about this. For the record, I, I, I enjoyed it as you. an insult. <laughs> <laughs> it was sharp. <laughs> it was I, I have a follow-up question. If you sure, said sure. that to me, I would have changed high schools. I would If you hit me with that in the cafeteria, I would have moved. If if there are chickens uh, that uh, those chicken the eggs that we're talking about where you we just eat them that have not been fertilized by sperm. Uh, how would those eggs? Would those eggs, if some, if a male chicken fertilized them, become uh new chickens? No, I don't think they can fertilize them post. Yeah, it's got to be done. They, no, they, I'm reading it right bang. now. For eggs to be fertilized, the hen and the rooster must mate first, and the process occur. This and this process must occur prior to the formation of the egg. Thus, if the hen has mated and lays an egg, then that egg is fertilized. In this process. Hold the egg up to the candlelight to see if you can point out the blood spots in the embryo. Yeah. yeah so basically, like, like I the, throw those ones out. The eggs from chickens that we eat is like the chickens. Period. It's like them shedding their unfertilized. Uh, gotcha. Gotcha. Interesting. That's and 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 yet, if there were a rooster running around that coop, all of those eggs would, would become be, new chickens. They if would he be came fertilized. in them before they ha- they laid the egg. So that was my question. I didn't know if there were... Because I know that there are chickens that are grown for meat, and then there are chickens that are grown for laying eggs. And they're two different types of chickens. Ah, I didn't know I that. I didn't that. know that. I'm pretty sure Where were you on true. that one, chicken man? Oh. <laughs> Should we have a chicken off? <laughs> Guess you weren't in the coop that day, huh? <laughs> oh, God. This thing went off the rails. <laughs> Are you a quail egg guy? No. <laughs> hit the hit the bricks with yard. You're not classic. a lot. Li- yeah. No way. <laughs> those things ski. They've been man. pushing those on people. Yeah. Uh. Um. My cousin went all. He built a fucking chicken coop. What? And yeah. Just does his own. He's got like. Where does he live? Out in like the main line by like Villanova. No shit. And they're just yeah. like I think they're in the shed or something he's just got a fucking coop and he just does fresh eggs all the time it's Damn. cool it's it's, he's it's like i was buying all these fucking eggs and i wanted to go farm to table and i just was yeah. like oh fuck it we got this it's hmm, like I'm, next to the go-kart it is <laughs> it, it, you know in in the in the same way of like people who grow their own weed I, I think having your own chicken coop so you can eat fresh eggs from your backyard every morning is one of the most like satisfying huh. things you could have. If I had the land, I would get in on it. We, my, we got, got something to do. We got foxes down where my parents are. We couldn't do it. They come in Ooh, and get you. There was a Peter, Paul, and Mary song about that. Really? Yeah. About the foxes getting into the chicken coop. Hmm. Ever heard, you guys know Peter, Paul, and Mary? No. no. <laughs> the folk singers that sang for children? Hey, listen, thanks for coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Is it like from when we were kids? Yeah. Wait, I know Peter, Paul, and Mary. Come on, Foley. There uh, you go. What do they say? Puff the Magic Dragon. Yeah, they, they did Puff the Magic yeah. Dragon. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> hey, we're having fun here. Um, How do we start talking about eggs? 
I don't know. Chick- chickens <laughs> somehow? Yeah. I don't know. I don't oh, you asked if we ever collected eggs. Yeah. I don't even know why I asked that, though. That's I don't know, but question. it got a great answer. <laughs> In thinking there was egg collectors. <laughs> Have you ever collected anything like baseball cards or anything like that in your life? Yeah, I, I, did, uh, I did basketball cards. I was really into basketball cards. And I'll tell you this. In light of the recent boom in cards, collectibles, yeah. I went Gary back v. to my, my childhood home and looked through my basketball card collection and then cross-referenced to see if I had anything that was worth anything. And I actually added up the rough value of all my uh, basketball what do you got? cards. I thought it would be like a few thousand dollars. It was like $28. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing. And I have like I have like thirty Michael Jordan cards, and none, not a single one of them was like had accrued value. Yeah. They weren't they're rare. Like thirty two cents. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. nothing. They I, just made too many of them. I made it bummed me out, dude. I thought I was sitting on a gold mine. Yeah, when I was in, I probably like junior or sophomore year, baseball cards got really hot. So this is probably like ninety two, ninety three. It got really, really hot, and I thought we had fucking we had the whole tops collection hmm. from like eighty one to whatever. There's fucking four billion of them out there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you got to get one where like somebody's upside down or something like that. You need the holograms and the autographs yeah. and the game worn jersey cards. Those are the ones. Yeah, that I really... could never get into that shit. Yeah. yeah, have you ever gotten an autograph off anybody? I was a huge autograph hound. Really? When I was young. Really? Yeah. Don't I had this tell lucky. Me that. Well, I had this lucky thing happen where when I was in sixth grade, I had a really bad staph infection that uh, sort of seeped into my ankle joint. Became a very septic ankle joint. Okay. So it's, uh, it's blood poisoning. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, it, you know that's when it gets dangerous when it, when it's in your body because you get staph infections on your skin. It's no big deal, but if you get them in your bloodstream, it can kill you. Where'd you get it from? We don't even know. Hmm. Just an open cut. Somehow the the bacteria got in there, and then it it found a home in my ankle joint. Jesus. So it was really bad. I I was in the hospital for two months. I had. One of those IVs in my heart, like the tube, the catheter. Damn. So that they could just pump gallons of antibiotics right into my heart. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. Mainline in it. Two months in the hospital. Yeah, missed all school, everything. Holy Lost like shit. 20 pounds as a seventh, sixth grader. You could so, do that. There you go. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> well, can I get a staph infection right yeah. here? But you come out of that, and and uh, my dad, as a way of trying to perk me up, because I was pretty down in the dumps, sure. uh, we got a 10-game package to the Boston Celtics. Nice. And we pretty would good. drive down to Boston from Maine, and um, we would get there really early so I could go hunt for autographs. And I'm going down to the floor and waiting for the guys to come out after doing their shoot-around mm-hmm. warm-up, and I'm, I'm this sickly kid. They'd let you down on the floor? No, not like on the floor, but you know, right, go right down next to the barrier. To the floor. I got yeah. you. All right, you're a little kid. Okay. Yeah, and, and I'm I'm sickly, and I've got this tube in my chest. There's like I, I have no color. I've got braces, and I just I was the Make a Wish kid, basically. Oh, that's Damn. awesome. And you just I mean you rake in yeah the autographs. I think I had a LeBron autograph. I. I had a you know a bunch of Eric Snow. Shout out to E Snow, baby. That's crazy. Best, yeah. yeah, best point guard in the biz. A bunch of the Celtics. So I had those, but those were not on cards. Those were on like you a know piece of paper or whatever. It was like uh, the the when you get the thing at the game. What the hell is that called? Program. Program. There you go. Program. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Good yeah. Shit. Hmm. I like it. I never really collected much. Yeah. Uh, no. Um. Never it, had the patience for it. This one I don't even understand. This is from Remy. Is it trash to leave a gift card as a tip? Yeah, what do you mean you don't understand that? I yeah, mean, I don't understand people doing that. Garbage. That's nuts. <laughs> like, what are you leaving, like a Marshall's gift that's card or something? garbage. <laughs> that's that crazy. That is trash. <laughs> I love how he sees how the poor people operate. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, on the one challenge on Patreon, it was you had the funniest comment. Because it was, he's never been in a limo. So I was like, oh, we're taking Foley. Foley's never been in a limo. And then I said in parentheses, even for a funeral. And you were like, I love how that's an acceptable time to be in a limo for <laughs> yeah, you guys. Yeah. yeah, I was thinking prom, right? <laughs> it would be the number one. I, nah, somebody's got to go yeah. at the Foley house. <laughs> um, Who was shitting on me for this? My prom, I drove my own car. Yeah, I think it was me, you, and Reggie were shitting on you. Did you what did you take to the prom? I did a, did a big stretch limo with yeah. like 12 kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Split it. Everyone pays like thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the way to do it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I took a white Nissan Maxima. <sighs> Quit bragging. That the state police were combing through several hours later. <laughs> Why? Because a couple of our couple of our, our our boys had a couple of cocktails before they got in the car. I didn't. 
I took acid like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> and there ain't no state trooper tests for that. Acid to go to prom. Yeah. yeah. You must have been a great date. Oh, it was fun. No yeah. wonder why he couldn't afford a limo. <laughs> you were a fucking deadbeat at 18. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I don't understand who would ever leave a gift card, like a Visa gift card or like a, I don't understand. I think that's <laughs> acceptable. But if you leave like a Cracker Barrel gift card. If you're at like the Olive Garden or something. Yeah. No, yeah. that's trashy because there's just a trust issue there. Because if you have just a gift card. You also if, can't pay your rent with a gift card. If it's you're a, limited. If it's un, yeah, if it's unopened, maybe. No. But you don't know what's left on there. If somebody said, hey, here's a $50 gift card. There's 15 left on there. That's your tip. Get that the fuck out of here. Mm. That's like people leaving change. I also think that the gift cards just carry with them a general understanding that these are being re-gifted they, so yeah. often. Yes, you know, I be. got this. I'm not going to use it. Congratulations. Yeah, 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 go go yeah, buy yeah. a notebook at Staples. Yeah. 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 Gift card in general is just a horrific gift. Yeah. I, yeah, give me the cash. Like, why True. why make me buy something yeah. at, you know, fucking Dick's Sporting Goods or something? You Unless, don't know me well enough. To specify the one place I can shop. Yes, you know well, exactly. I mean? yeah. Yes. I give my sister in law a gift card every once in a while, but she's really. Victoria's <laughs> Secret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, spice things up up there, will you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, she like loves home goods. Like, loves home goods. So I'll get her like a $100 gift card to home goods. Stop okay. that. 75. I don't think she likes that. She's saying she likes it. She's like, what more do I need from fucking Home Goods? All right. Now you're giving them a, a chore yeah. to go to Home Goods. And, and this is the other problem with the gift card is that she goes to Home Goods and she either feels constrained by the amount you've given her or she's like, okay, well, I'll put 75 bucks towards this thing. Comes out to 150. Now she's, she's still spending 75 of bucks, her own value. Yeah. It doesn't feel that good. Sure, yeah. you're right. Yeah. You know? You're either going, hey, yeah, to try to find the exact thing for if the card's 100 bucks, find something for $99. Or, you know, it's like, then now she's buying shit that she doesn't need. Lose the gift cards. Everybody lose the fucking gift I'm cards. I'm with you. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I apologize. Um, this is in the same kind of vein. This is from T. Mackin. Uh, what is the smallest amount of money you'll pick up off the street? Oh, great question. Yeah. I was thinking about this the other day. $2 has started to feel like a decent amount of money again. Why so? Um, I think I think because I I lost, left my job. Okay. <laughs> and lost my salary. <laughs> and I started thinking about it and I was like, man, two dollars is an amount that I can't ignore anymore. Really? Uh, what about you? a dollar on the ground? A dollar on the ground, if I were to pick it up, I would probably give it to a homeless person. Wow, oh, that's a that's a classy really? move. That's yeah. a classy move. You're picking up dirty money off the ground. Then you got to look for a homeless guy. Well, you know, you give it a glance and see if it's that you know poop money trick, <laughs> <laughs> or if it's on a fishing line or something. Yeah, exactly. I'll get you that you way. look around. Those damn kids. Yeah, fool me once. <laughs> I pick up pennies. Do you really? It's got to be a pen. Yeah, but it's it's an OCD thing. It's got to be a penny on heads. I pick it up. I look at the date. I think about the date, like what year it was. Then I put it in a separate pocket that's not that doesn't have other change in it. What do you do after that? I feel like I have good luck. Okay. Well, it's not working. <laughs> Interesting. I, I never, I never pick up money off the, off the street. What's the most money you've ever found on the ground? One hundred and twenty bucks. Really? In a purse. I was a kid, in and a we were purse? on the Wildwood Boardwalk. You fucking scumbag! That's just a robbery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This poor old lady never saw me coming. <laughs> I found two grand in a lady's dresser one time, <laughs> just walking by, minding my own business. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ, man! Yeah, no, it was one hundred and twenty bucks in a purse, all twenties. And did your mom make you give it back? It was with my dad and my stepmom, so rules were a little looser. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't always playing on the honor system. Hey, we can go jet skiing now. No, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, we, we took it to, like, the Wildwood, like, police thing on the boardwalk. Oh, there you and we go. Were, and they were like, hey, if no one claims this by the end of the night, like, in the lost and found, you can come back and collect it. And I was like, dude, come, like, 1030. I'm like, let's go wrap it up. We got to go back to pick up my fucking... <laughs> Pick up my, my goods, you know? And so my, what do you get it? My dad was like, we are not going back to pick up that woman's money. Good. <laughs> Good. He's like, we don't, he's like, we have money. But I don't, like, I'll give you 120 bucks. Shout out to it. Mr. Ryan. I like it. Oh. Fucking classy move right there. What about you? I found a $50 bill floating 
in the pool at Club Med in the Bahamas when I was a kid. You keep it? Oh yeah. Yeah. I had my That's goggles on. Yeah. I was out <laughs> under there looking for looking at butt cheeks. Yeah, you Dude, were. what were your parents into? They took you to Club Med when you were a kid. Buddy, that that was not as I got you labeled out a, as a classy gentleman. Yeah, you're okay, okay. It. You're right. You're right. Is Club what? Med trashy? <laughs> yes. It's not great. Really? It's, I don't know anything about it. It's a cruise on land. <laughs> it's where people go to swing and fucking yeah. do dirty shit in hotel it's a rooms. Dry land cruise. Yeah, wow. but it was great, man. It's all buffets and uh, <laughs> you love it. The kids, you can go. You send them off to camp all day, and you're going around doing all kinds of stuff. I don't know. As a kid, it was perfect. Yeah, it'd probably be pretty fun, actually. Yeah, bunch of bunch of other little kids or in organized groups. Yeah, although I didn't love that stuff as a kid. What? I didn't bond well with stranger Me kids. Me either. Hit the fucking bricks <laughs> yeah. with that. My mom would be like, oh, they, after, like seven years old, I'm like, yo, no more of that organized shit You're not with these me. fucking weirdos. I didn't like I'm that. I'm on vacation. Let me be in a pool. Yeah. Doing a scavenger hunt like an asshole. Exactly. Exactly. They, I always just, I don't know what it was. I didn't like that when, when we were, when we go to church, I didn't want to do the Sunday school. Yeah, man. Stay in the congregation. You know, let me be. <laughs> great. I like so that. So you didn't did you have a tight group of friends when you were a kid? Yes. But you didn't like any outsiders. I didn't that's right. I wanted to select my own friends. I didn't <laughs> want to be foisted upon <laughs> Other friends. I didn't want to be, you know, commingled against my will. <laughs> I Stuck love with a couple words. of kids that look like me. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, What's your all... skincare routine? <laughs> yeah, they're all having. <laughs> I collect robin eggs <laughs> <laughs> and squirrel feet. <laughs> oh man, of oh, you two as kids, I wanna. That's I would have fucking loved to see that encounter. <laughs> he just got like barbecue sauce all over you or something. Uh, he would have hated me. Um, this one's from Max, first timer. Anyone in your family ever wear jeans to a funeral? I can't. I think your family. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. <laughs> no way. One of my homies did that this past. Oh weekend. my god, jeans to That's a funeral. Brutal. Off. Wow. I jeans think- at a wedding is fucking tough. I feel a funeral is better than a wedding. What? No, it's more disrespectful. You wear jeans to a wedding, you're a fucking bozo. You wear jeans to no, a funeral. There's, no, because if you if there's a wedding if there's a funeral, there's no there's no suggested attire. When you're going to a wedding, it's suggested attire on the on the invitation. That's true. I don't know. But I Lay would also say I would also say that like funerals in general, I mean, are so somber. And so it, there's such. There may not be a, a written suggestion, but the <laughs> yeah, you know, expected Social, attire yeah. is so defined more than a wedding. Weddings have a range of things. Sure, funerals. It's like dark suit. Yeah, dark suit. Something dark. Whatever. Dark what about pants. for a viewing? If you're doing the viewing, because I might be guilty of this for sure. Now that I'm now they tank tops and flip flops. <laughs> no, I think a viewing you get a little bit you get a little bit more away with because it's the kind of thing you can like, do like slacks and a shirt. Yeah, yeah, because okay. that's for that's for the for the bozos that you're not really that close to to come okay. pay your respects when you get done work or something like that. I've I've always not gone to the viewing. You no, do the funeral. The no, proper. to the viewing. I don't go to the viewing. Even family. Well, my family doesn't do that. Like, are you talking about like open casket type yeah, visitation thing? Yeah, they don't visitation. do that. Yeah, we're not we're not into that. What do they do? Well, there's always a we. The, most of the people in my family who've passed away have been cremated. Okay. Uh, and there's not there's not there's not the urn's not there. We don't go up and study the urn. No. <laughs> oh, really? no. See, we we most we're old school Catholic, so mostly it's open casket. But people have been cremated, and there's still a viewing where the family's in line, and you go up and you and you say your condolences, and you keep it moving, grab a lifesaver, sit down, mm-hmm. and then they do like a little thing. I always and, stand at the casket, and I'm like, "Have I been here long enough?" Okay, and then I keep it moving. You, know you say I mean? a prayer, you keep it moving. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we're not, we're, just, I guess we're not that religious, so okay. that hasn't been, but, but we've done scattering of the ashes, and people show up in the family for that. That I've never done. Yeah, never That's been to nice. scattering. That's nice. I've only ever seen it. Movie and TV, but it seems like a good time. Yeah, where'd you scatter them? Uh, you know, I think one time it was like in in a garden at their the house because the, my grandfather was loved the re- planting the roses. This is okay. getting sad. <laughs> oh, it's all right, I like yeah. it. The scene in Big Lebowski is one of the all timers. <laughs> <laughs> sprinkles it all over his face. <laughs> <laughs> so windy. <laughs> ah, that's good shit. Um. 
This this is this has to be a no for for Mr. Uh, Francis Ellis here. Ever have any major family events at a VFW? No. Yeah. You are you looking other. at me? Yeah, what do you I mean? mean, my parents got married. <laughs> I was there. Yeah. Of course. Have you ever been to a VFW? No. No. Yeah. Can I be honest? You don't know. What I don't it even is. know what it is. Is it a veterans? Association? Veterans. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Foreign VFW is veterans of foreign war, and they have like clubhouses. Yeah. And you know, dirt balls like us have family parties. They're like halls, kind of. Yeah. You can rent them out. I. It's. So I feel I like, like an asshole for saying parties. that because I do have service members in the family. Sure. But. We've never gone to a VFW. Some of them are regional, party. too. Some of them are nice, and some of them aren't so nice. Like, my buddy's dad was in the Army, and they have one down in Brigantine that's pretty classy. It's 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 by the it's by the water, so you can get a slip. You can put the boat out there. Oh, that's nice. And it's nice. But one's in, like, the middle of Pennsylvania. I've been to a couple of tough ones, yeah. Food's always dynamite, though. A mm. couple of stairs. They know the way around a mashed potato, I can tell you that. So, so, so g- give me a breakdown of, like... Um, Rotary clubs, Elks lodges, all similar things. VFW is it? Do you all have to have been? In, is it all military, foreign mil- no. member military? No, just VFW is. I think the only requirement. V- Elks, VFW, and there, there's one more, but not the a American v- Legion. American, American Legion. Legion. Yes, yeah. uh, they're they're the only two. Elks and the other one, Moose Lodge, and that shit are all just like uh, Dad's trying to get out of the house. Social clubs. Yeah, yeah. the, the whole see. vibe of a VFW is like you watch your friends die, so beers are a dollar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah you've been Got in the it. shit. Here's Got a it. here's a discounted shot. That's cool. Ice cold. Hmm. That's the same. We belong to the Elks Lodge. It's Elks Lodge in Wildwood, New Jersey, and it's like the membership a year is like a couple hundred bucks, but then you get in there and it's like dollar drinks. Yeah, and it's like we'll just go like animals. It's great. You order five, you order five hundred <laughs> drinks, and you have like I remember the first time I went, I didn't know, and I had like I was like oh, I'll get this round. I had like three hundred dollars out ready to pay, and they were like oh it's thirty two bucks. I'm like just ordered fucking nine shots, yeah, three vodka amazing. tonics, yeah. fifteen beers. I ordered a whiskey ginger in an American Legion, and the guy goes, soda's flat. And I went, oh, can I have a Coke? And he goes, all of the soda is flat. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, this one's great. This is from Jack. Have you ever watched the Lingerie Football League? Is that what, do you know what I'm talking about? You know yeah, talk- I know about that. They hit pretty hard. Yeah, they're Some no joke. Those girls out. are athletic. Those yeah. girls are athletic. They care shit. way they more. Like college athletes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're smoking. I definitely remember Smoke. when that came out. I was like, "This is going to be great." When I watched, like, yeah, I watched the first quarter. I'm like, "All right, I've had enough." It's I, it's a little bit misleading to call it the the lingerie football league in my mind. Sure, because they're wearing helmets and, and shoulder, shoulder pads, pads and yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. you think you're gonna get this like WWE diva kind mm-hmm. of thing. And these girls are it's it's really female rugby. Almost. Yes, it's yeah. like yeah, they're beating the shit out of each other. <laughs> Still, it's pretty pretty hot though. <laughs> See the highlights. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, did your parents ever? Uh, this is from Fisher. Did your parents ever pick up a stranger's souvenir cup off the floor to take it home on the way out? <laughs> on the way out of the stadium. <laughs> oh, that's garbage. like if you see one by the trash, or second. like as you're walking out of the aisle. No. <laughs> we did not. I can't say that. we have. I don't have. You know conclusive evidence that we haven't i'm sure we i've gr- i've gripped a couple on the way I, out i will say this we we would pay up for the souvenir cup and then we would have that in the cup cupboard yeah for years forever forever yeah. Yeah, until yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the lettering had faded they, off yes yeah yeah That's, that they were the always cup. the best to put like they water were in so or something great, yeah. <laughs> they were always cool. bigger than like the traditional uh, glasses yeah. Yeah. rush it mm. That's um, garbage. Yeah, we were we had flyers like ninety whatever it was like ninety three play, Stanley Cup playoff cups. I think we had a until I graduated one. a like, Disneyland there one. Was definitely a Disney Cup. <laughs> he had a Club Med. Yeah, um, I always thought it was trashy. Remember, like for a while when like uh, like Seven Eleven would have like you could get like the plastic plastic big gulp. Yeah, and you could you paid a certain amount, and then if you came the back refill. in with it. You got it. You got you got the the refill cheaper. It was like a fifty cent refill or yeah. something. Yeah. Bringing back your own cup to fucking Seven Eleven. Well, there was the movie theater too, where you'd get uh you get the extra large popcorn and the extra large soda, and they'd give you a free refill. Sure. And I had friends who would sneak it in the cup to start, go into the movie. Twenty minutes later, they'd walk out of the movie and go up and be like, "I finished it," and get a free. Every time they went, that's, a lot. that's not that bad. That's I bad. know people and have been to the movies with people. 
that have gone into the trash and grabbed the cup. That's bad. And Aww. rinsed it off in the bathroom and then went out and fucking got themselves a soda. How is your mom doing, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Patty wouldn't do that. First of all, Patty Foley does not pay for fucking anything inside of a movie theater except for the tickets. And sometimes not even that. Well, we talked about this with you. We did. The egregious thing he does is... He does meal prep at home I'll and bring then, leftovers. Then in. take leftovers. To oh yeah, that's right. Were you eating like sushi or chicken no, or something like in there? Yes. Yeah, okay. broccoli, oh, rice, man. chicken. It's, it's, dude, that is the act of an insane person. <laughs> Proper <laughs> broccoli crazy at person. the movies. Well, this you guys leftover asked me, broccoli at yeah, the movies. How yeah. do you stay trim? You know? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I'm not eating you, you just butter popcorn. Ruin the Fast and the Furious for thirty other people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you, did any of you guys have Movie Pass when that was going? No, I know what no. you're talking about. That was people were ripping the movies off left and right. It was like mm. ten bucks. You could see any movie you wanted. Yeah, some fucking bozo won the lottery. <laughs> it was like, I got a business idea. Yeah, and free yeah. movies for everybody. <laughs> Just give me ten bucks. Um, all right, let's do a couple more here. Uh, this one's from Mark. Is it garbage to still wear your high school class ring? For fucking sure. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get one? No. No. Really? No. Did you get one from college? No, I didn't do a ring. I bought the yearbook from college. Where'd you go to school again? At the Harvard, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, yeah. So you didn't get a Harvard ring? I think I would no, do it. Yeah, they were Harvard expensive. ring. It was like an I don't know, it might have been a thousand bucks or something. I I don't even know. But the the yearbook was like two hundred and fifty. And I just got the yearbook. I respectfully Do you sign a yearbook look, in college? I you think, go around to your friends and no, say, Hey, no, have a great no, summer no. and shit like that? I think class rings are cool. If you went to a, one of the military academies, yes, or the Citadel, or like whatever, I think Harvard and Yale kind of got up there too. I feel like if you have a class rank from Harvard or Yale, you're definitely CIA. What's what's why. um uh if you went to Clemson, everyone from Clemson wears their class ring. Really? Yeah, it's like a huge thing. Bozos. Oh, yeah, that's a tough look. Clemson. I they tried to sell us hard. Of my high school class ring. And there was like one or two guys that got it. And they got it like two days before graduation. And they looked like idiots walking around with them. We, I went to public school. I, I don't even think that they had them. We, yeah, they, we had them. They tried for us. They're like, anybody at like an assembly. They're like, who's interested in the class ring? And everybody started like booing them. They're like, all right. I'm out of here. Like, like, get the fuck out of here, nerds. How was the food at Harvard? How was the cafeteria food? It was all right. Just it all right? It wasn't like, you know. It, they're cooking for too many people. It's just say, it's still a college it's like a hospital. At yeah, the end of the day. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we chicken breasts that are cooked in water. We've had to have asked oh. you this on your episode because you mentioned Harvard. What'd you get in your SATs? Uh, yeah, we, I forgot what it was. I did the one that had three sections. So that's twenty six, twenty four. Yeah, <laughs> eight hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. Well. <laughs> and I did like a, a twenty two eighty or something. Damn. Yeah. No. Smart kid. Good. The cross yeah, but the only reason I got in was because of sports. Oh, that's oh, right. What did you play? Lacrosse. lacrosse yeah. You did? Yeah. I didn't know you played lacrosse at Harvard. Yeah, dude, we talked about no, it before, and didn't. you reacted just like <laughs> Did I? <laughs> you know, I played a little lacrosse in college as well. Did you really? Division three, Montgomery Where? Community College. Widener University. Yeah, okay. My brother oh, played. Oh, did you see how high his voice went? <laughs> Don't yeah, know it. Okay. But sounds <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's great. Were you in the Skull and Bones too? <laughs> Hit the brakes, Patty. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know that. What position did you play? Defenseman. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What about you? I was a midfielder. Yeah, but you were. Mm. Kids got body on them. <laughs> Kids got tight, tight lean body on them. Uh, I didn't know that. Mm. That's crazy. Hmm. We'll have to talk shop after the podcast. <laughs> <We'll> relax. <laughs> Maybe grab a beer. Hang out. <laughs> <Be buddies. laughs> you show up in your old jersey. <laughs> Get one of them iced coffees and eggs you keep talking about. <laughs> dropping his beer. <laughs> <laughs> Francis, next one's on me. Pound it. Pound it. It's like, dude, your hands stink. <laughs> That's, oh, they oh, stink. Dude, those yeah. in hot, ho that in hockey oh, equipment was Man, the when you got a good pair of gloves that fucking that fit in, like, you know, you, you broke them in. in. Yeah. Oh, man, they were they felt like extensions of your body. That's it. <sighs> All right, let's do this one. Okay. This, this will be the last one. This one's from Jose. Have have you or someone in your family ever returned an item from a store because it went on sale right after you bought it? So you returned it so you could buy it at the sale price. I did that. Really? Yeah, but Foley had an answer. I didn't mean to that's, cut you off. That, no, no, please. That's Dude, straight out of my mother's fucking playbook. Yeah, yeah it, that's crazy. And it me. feels really good when, when you get it down. Really? Yeah. 
What'd you, you buy? Go in, you go in guns blazing. <laughs> You're like, I, dude, I swear to God, I bought a coat, a nice long coat uh, that was like cool and tailored and all this mm. shit from this store. And the, I, I asked them as I was buying it. This is the kind of store where they give you a beer as you're shopping. Really? Yeah. What's the name of it? Rag and Bone. Oh, Holy yeah. Shout shit. out to Rag and Bone. Yeah, it's nice. And I walked in there. I saw this coat. It was not as expensive as I would have thought looking at it. It was really nice. And I walked up and I was like, th I love this. Uh, but do you, their stuff goes on sale all the time. And I was like, promise me this, this is, is not going on sale tomorrow. And they were like, this is part of our fall line. It's not going on sale. These have been flying off the shelves. And I was like, all right. I bought it. I'm not kidding you. A week later, half off. How did you How find did that you out? How did you know that? Yeah. That's I, why on, I don't get Because I get their email fucking uh, junk mail newsletters. And I right up front, there's my coat. Did you have the tags off. on still? No, I'd worn it. And you say what? You take what do they say? I, I walked back to the store with the coat. The very people who'd given me my Peroni, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'll try to butter me out with your imports." I was okay? like, "You looked me in the eye and told me this coat was not going on sale." And they were like, "You're right." And I'll then give they you that. they took it back and then resold it to me for half the price. I like that because yeah. you're going. I think your mom does it under the guise of, "I don't need this. This doesn't fit." He's he's going. Up I made front them. Saying, I made them give me ma stand by their word. Yes, your I mom made it a, is just trying to fucking thing. pull one over at Boscov's. Yeah, no, she'll um, if she wants something now and she knows it's going on sale. If there's like a Memorial Day sale, she'll buy it, wear it, and then go back and be like, "Yo, it's on sale. Let's go." <laughs> Cut oh the my check. God, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Patty, what are you she doing? She might have had a function or something. She had to. She had to she wear it. She needed it for. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Mm. That, that's not Could have been new jeans for a wedding or, <laughs> or a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Francis Ellis, thank you so much, buddy. Can I, I have I have one that I Please. want to ask you guys. The floor I, I, is yours. You guys have done so many many episodes that I, I worry that uh, anything I might bring has already been covered. So forgive me if this is sure. old hat. Believe it or not, probably not. Go ahead. Have you ever brushed your teeth while you were taking a shit? Uh, shit. Never. Never. On the toilet. I you're just started there, doing it in the shower. You're that's brushing a your lot teeth. For me. I'm not that much of a go getter. Why? <laughs> do you do that? I've done it. Yeah. Why? And then you gotta you gotta tuck your junk while you spit it? into oh. the toilet. No, dude, that's crazy. I've I done think it. We, I think we just found the clip. I yeah, don't do why? it often. I don't do it often, but I've done it. And like in a pinch, you gotta get out of the you house. Gotta multitask. You what gotta is that? No. the apartment you on fire. You can that's shave you? a couple of seconds. Yeah, somewhere but else. you know, I gotta get that sunscreen on my face. Gotta hit the Peloton. You know, it's like do it on the Peloton. The I routine, can't. That's the routine. That's crazy to me. No. Man. That's I expect savage. a little more from a Harvard man. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. That's real brown behavior. <laughs> so we got Oops the Podcast. Yeah. You got the Patreon. What else you got, the folks? Check out, out there the Patreon. Know. I do. I do uh, sort of shorter versions, like uh, highlight clips from the alternate side parking on my Instagram, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, with the hope that people will enjoy those enough to, to fork over five dollars a month. Uh, but yeah, check check me out if you like these guys. I'm similar. He's a similar fantastic. type of humor. Yeah, so. you, and your oops, the podcast is with Julio, who was a previous guest as well. So go Julio fucking Gattarotti, check it out. Who sure. we also love. Happy birthday, big guy. Yeah. Heard it was his birthday. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, as always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes, full video on YouTube, and then patreon.com. Also, guys, live shows. We have live shows coming up in Atlantic City, uh, Chicago. We added a fourth fucking show. Wow. That tickets, that's going to fucking sell out. Get fourth and final. And then indie as well, and uh, we have more. We have about fifteen more coming, so yeah, stay tuned. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.